Hello, welcome to the beta rig overview video. Um, for this video, I'll be going over some of the basic controls, where to find FKIK switching, space switching, um, auto stretch, um, and a few things that you should know about the rig before you get started animating with beta. Um, so let's get into it. So for this rig, beta is set up pretty much like a typical bipedal character. If you've used bipedal rigs before, this rig shouldn't be too surprising to you with its control setup. Um, overall, you know, if you're looking for the FK, IK switching, the space switching, um, for any of the limbs or, you know, chest or head or like fellow spaces, all those attributes are on this menu back here. So if I want to turn his left arm to FK, I have my switch. I have my follow space switch, auto stretch, IK follow spaces, rotation follows for the FK and pull the dirt attributes. Um, I do also have, and this goes for both arms, both legs. So if you need those features, go to the menu back here. For the chest, if you go to the chest, we have a feature called distribute rotation. And what this does is, is that you might have noticed that Beta only has controls for an IK chest. Um, he has this control here, which if I go here and turn distribute rotation all the way down, his chest performs completely like an IK chest, which means that when you rotate it, you don't get any side to side lean as he rotates. Instead, you have to rotate and then translate to get that lean. That's what you have to do. And then translate up maybe a little bit. But we have this feature where if where automatically it is set to 0 0.5 when the rig comes into your scene. And that starts to give you some of the side to side. And if you want a chest which fully really feels like an just pure FK chest, just set that attribute all the way to one. And then you'll have an IK, a IK control which operates um, exactly like an FK control for the spine. Personally, I've used this feature in my own animation with this rig, and I found it to be very helpful and work very smoothly. Another thing to know is, is that we do have main controls, secondary controls, tweak controls, a face rig, and individual hair controls. And to find the visibilities of that, for the secondary um, and tweak controls, go to the main gear back here, and then you can turn them. You turn on the secondary controls, and those will be your bend controls. And the sculpt controls for the arms and legs. It will also turn on these trapezius controls for the muscles between his shoulders and his neck. What that's useful for is, is that because Beta is a very broad shoulder character, he has a big muscles up there. Um, but as you bring those shoulders up, they can get pinched a little bit. So you can use this control to rotate, then translate. Get a little bit of a nicer, I mean, I'm still more for now. To get a little bit of a nicer feeling of that muscle bulge. Because if I zero it out, you can see that the muscle is starting to deflate there. So you can use that control to sculpt his trapezius if you're really bringing his shoulders up. Another secondary control to know about is we have these controls for different pivots for the foot. This is a nice side to side bank. This is a nice toe pivot. This is, I believe, a toe roll control. And we also have micro adjustment. Sorry, not micro adjustment. Um, macro adjustment controls on the hands. These controls, what we're imagining people can use them for is that if you have Beta's hand in a fist or maybe his hands are just, just like hanging there and you want to add just a little bit of keep alive or just a little bit of clenching in that fist, um, these controls, you can do motion that affects the fingers around it on a bit of a fall off radius. So you can pull it out a little bit. 
you can pull it this way. This is also good, like, let's say if you want to do a smear and you want to have those fingers drag in that nice clean arc. I found that when I was animating smears with this, this control helped for that. So those controls um, are just a nice extra touch if you want to um, mess around and get a little bit, you know, little nice keep alive in those hands. Um, personally, I wouldn't recommend them for your broad overall hand posing. Um, but also, if you find that useful for your overall hand posing, then, you know, go for it. Um, for the face controls, to turn those on, go to the head back here and turn on the face rig. And then for the hair controls, we have two sets of controls. We have a um, broad overall control here, which you can use to translate if you want to, like, let's say, you know, if beta is turning his head and you want to get, not that control, you want to get this, sorry, my hotkeys are broken. If you want to get this, a little bit more in silhouette or pull it up and push it down a little bit that first control is useful for tweaking the silhouette all the controls down the chain will rotate the hair locks as a group if you want to animate the individual hairs themselves you can select the base control and go here and then you can turn these on or not for these we have an fk chain for each hair lock and we also have IK sculpt controls, um, which you can use. You can also on the FK chain, use them to translate the lock um, if you need that for a special pose or for smear frames. I think you can also, not on that control, you can also go in and stretch it out as well. The last set of controls to know about are the tweak controls. Again, for control visibility, just go to this cog here, turn on tweak controls, and then you'll have these micro controls to do like fine detail sculpting of the muscle shapes, or if you want to add muscle jiggle um, to your animation of beta. I did that on a shot that I was working on with tweak controls um, and it was pretty fun. So that's the beta rig. Um, thank you very much for downloading him. We cannot wait to see what fun things you all create with this character. If you animate him, please let us know, tag us on socials, you know, share it with other people. Um, and yeah. Have fun and happy animating. Hi everyone. So this video will be about two things. One, how to fix the textures and two, how to use this IKFK tool that we're providing with this rig. So first let's fix the texture issue. In the package that you will have downloaded, you should find this right here. a texture readme file. If you open it, you will see the text that is in there. And this is the exact issue that we're facing right now. So first thing that you will have to do to fix that is select this, do a copy or control C. Go in Maya and in here, uh, make sure that you are in Python mode, paste it there and hit enter. It will take a few seconds, but it will load the texture and regenerate their, um, their appearance. All right, so now that we have this done, let's talk about the IKFK switcher. So if we go again into this package, you will find a IKFK script directory. Go in it, and we made it super simple for you. You can select the script and drag and drop it on the viewport. If you prefer to have it on your uh, shelf, what you can do is open this, copy its content, put it here, select all with control A, middle mouse button on this, put it there. So right now this is a Python script. Right click on it. In shelf, I would recommend adding a label to it. So IK, FK. Just like that. Save all shelf and there we go. Anytime you click that, you will see this. Okay, so to show you how it works, let me show you in context. You might have seen this animation already. So here, how it works is, let's say that you want this leg to be in 
FK, what you can do is just click this. This will make the entire tank range that you that you are working on right now. So it will take a few seconds and there we go. The animation might shift a little bit, but it should be almost there. Um, so yeah, now the animation is in FK. If you need to switch a single key, of course, you can uh, select this current frame. It will swap the current frame. Right now, it's because there is pivot that has been used that are not suppo supported between FK and IK. So uh, there we go. And one thing cool also is that, well, when he jumps, let's say that I want all the frames where he is midair to be in FK. What I will do is select this part right here. There we go. I want this to be the opposite of the current state. So I will hit bake and it should only change those keys that you had selected. You can for sure select multiple limbs and execute this script. It will act on them. So yeah, now as you can see, all the part where he's hanging is in FK. So here uh, I will fix this that I edited earlier, current frame. It can take a few seconds. There we go. I hope you have fun. Let us know if you face any issues with those rigs. Cheers.